In this video, we're going to have a look at how to move this attic duct system into a basement. Now, to uh, in order to save time, I've already drawn our basement here. Now, the first thing I want to do is make sure that my duct load is correct. Since the location of my duct system is going to be different, I want to make sure my rooms are calculating their duct system in a conditioned space. So I check, again, that's on the room tab of the room property sheet, and I'm going to want to check this for both my level one and my basement. And change the location of my duct system to condition space. Now this is going to take the duct load for these areas down to zero. Next, I should double check the load of the building to make sure that I'm still within the right range in terms of the equipment that I've selected. If any changes need to be made to this equipment, I make whatever adjustments need to be made on my equipment selection page, including my CFM and static pressure. Along those same lines, if something has changed about that static pressure or CFM setting, I might want to revisit my static pressure page as more airflow might cause a greater amount of resistance on my filter. Next, I should revisit my duct preferences page. Um, my, I might be using different boots or different fittings. I might be using top takeoffs instead of side takeoffs in a basement. And again, making any adjustments to this duct preferences page will automatically adjust any duct or any fitting or any part of the duct system here that hasn't been manually changed. So as long as I haven't made manual adjustments to any of these ducts or any of these fittings, making a change here on the duct preferences page will affect the entire design. Now it's time to actually move the duct system down to the basement. I can start with the air handler. If I right click on the air handler, I can change the sheet location from level one to basement. Now technically speaking, the basement and level one share a space. I don't need to move this air handler or these ducts to the basement. The floor of the first floor and the ceiling of the basement are the same space and WriteSoft will allow me to draw my system here. That having been said, for common sense purposes, most people when they look at a system that's obviously installed within the confines of the basement, want to see that duct system drawn in the basement. So I'm going to move this air handler location to basement. That moves it down to the basement layer. And I'm going to move all of these ducts down to the basement too. I can, I can actually do that fairly easily by using my global selection tool. You see, if I select all of my supply ducts on the property sheet of those ducts, I can change the sheet from level one to basement and now all my ductwork is in the basement at least for the supply I can do the same for the return select return ducts and locate all of my level one return ducts to the basement now with all of my ductwork in the basement and you can see the connections to these registers on the first floor are still being maintained now they give us this little icon here these little boot fitting icons without showing the register because I'm currently hiding my level one where those first floor registers are. But WriteSoft will allow me to connect a duct from one floor to the register of another. You see, as my basement duct layer is selected, I can click on the supply duct icon and draw this duct on the basement layer, but connect it to a register on level one with no problems whatsoever. Now, by turning off level one, I still am going to need to connect the registers here in the basement itself, like so, and like so. In fact, the only major step I need to worry myself with now is our risers. This duct is a riser. I need to make sure it's going the right distance to get from my basement up to my level two. Right? And that distance might be 20 feet. The same for my return as it goes upstairs. Is this a riser? Yes. What distance is it going? I also probably shouldn't run that riser into the dirt. <laughs> now that explains how to move your duct system from uh, a previous crawl space model to one that uh, has a basement that you've added. For more tips on how to draw a duct system in the basement initially rather than move it from another design, see our video for designing a basement duct system with high wall returns. In the meantime, that concludes this video on how to move a duct system from a crawl space to a basement model. Thank you for your time and have a good day.